Morning and welcome to another work in progress. So, what obscure aircraft is it going to be this time? Is it going to be a fairy flycatcher or a bit more inflexible or even a Reed and Sigrist snargasher? It's a Spitfire. I know, I know, I know, I know I paint a lot of Spitfires. I know, and especially a Battle of Britain Spitfire, which it is. Uh, but there's a good story behind this one and it's a commission so there you go that's what I have to do come and have a look uh, and I'll explain a little bit more about it so here it is at, it's very basic at the moment I've just put a little bit of paint on to roughly get the positions um, it's basically a tribute to a pilot called Bill Watling who was shot down on the 9th of September um, bailed out so this is going to be on fire actually because he was, he was burnt um, he bailed out successfully, recovered, but then he was killed uh, a few months later. Uh, the thing about this painting at the moment is um, I've got two choices about the light. The combat took place at 4.30 in the afternoon, so the light was in the west. And it was over the coast, south coast, near Dungeness. So it's a case of do I have the light behind us? Or behind the aeroplane. Originally I roughly sketched this in as the land and this is the sea so that would mean the light would be behind us and so I'd get a nice high height on the fuselage, the colours would be nice and rich and yeah be quite strong. However my daughter pointed out that at the moment this looks like the sea and that looks like the land. In which case, uh, the sun would be behind the aircraft. Now, I've been looking at it for, I don't know, about a day. And to be honest with you, I think, I think actually she's got a point. I think with the sea highlighted by the, by the sun, I think actually this could look quite nice. So I'm sort of steering towards putting the light behind the aeroplane and then having this as the land. Um, but I've got to decide because I've really got to get on with this. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do, um, but <laughs> we shall see. Uh, in the next couple of hours, I'm going to play with it a little bit, try, try working in the light to see how it looks, and then um, I'll make a decision, and then I'll get on with it. So the next update, you will see, um, see what I decided. So, yeah, yeah, but so far so good, it's, you know. So we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's the morning after and I've decided, yes, I'm gonna go with the uh, light behind. So if you come and have a look, um, I'll kind of show you what I was working on yesterday. Um, so basically what I've done, I've, I've added some lighter paint to the sea. I've also introduced some uh, yellow uh, paint to the ground, just to give me a bit of a, more definite contrast between the two. Worked on a little bit of the beach, uh, just very really roughly, just, just to get an idea of the composition of, of the sea and the land. And then I've put a second coat of paint on the Spitfire to make it darker because it's going to be against the light. What I need to do, I obviously tone down the whites because, you know, your brain works out what's going on by the things that it knows and your brain knows that that's white. So you have to tone it down. If I'd have darkened everything here but kept the light, the, the white as a pure white or, or so on, then the brain would work out that this is very, very dark camouflage, but actually, you know, it's not. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm on course now. I think I know what I'm doing. Um, so the question for me now is what do I do next? Do I detail the Spitfire or do I detail the ground? Um, all depends what mood I'm in really, you know, if, if I'm in a sort of detail mode I'll, I'll do the Spitfire, if I'm in a can't be bothered to do this, then I'll, I'll do the, the ground because that's more relaxing to do. Um, it's very hot outside at the moment so um, I'll probably do the ground I think. So uh, I was right, I couldn't be bothered to paint the aeroplane so I actually worked on the ground. So if you come and have a look, um, what I've been doing is uh, I've been adding cloud and cloud shadows to just give a bit of interest in, in, in this sort of area. So as you can see, we're against the light, so I've put clouds in here and um, extended them down here and so on. Um, what I'm just doing at the moment, 
I've, I originally put them in reasonably horizontally like this but what I'm trying to get now is some sort of impression of perspective um, so we're getting a kind of a triangle thing going like that because then it will take your eye in towards this point which is kind of a natural balance to the Spitfire so what I'm doing down here for example is extending this cloud um, a little bit further this way um, so instead of it being flat going like that it's actually kind of progressing towards this point over here and the same with this one it's just a I mean everything is reasonably rough at the moment but it's just a way of um, creating a visual uh, composition like a triangle there and and then obviously I'll do the same with subtle lines in these clouds going that way so very very simple at the moment but that's the general idea so okay so that's um, that's where we're going with it uh, it's looking looking good at the moment um, or looking looking encouraging at the moment um, what I thought I'd do with this uh, this work in progress is rather than um, wait until the end and then posting it on Facebook and whatever I thought what I'd do is is update it in stages so this is the end of stage one I'll do another update in a couple of days and then another update a few days after that it's it needs to be ready in about a week so during this next week um, I'll post two or three updates and uh, hopefully it'll go okay and hopefully it'll be enjoyable <laughs> no idea but we'll soon find out so uh, keep watching next update will be in a couple of days <laughs>